Welcome, 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 everybody. It's the Nebriated Podcast. It's your host, Sam C. I'm a co-host. Jay Dat back in the building, baby. One hole of the Soul Crusher and Collector. Welcome, 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 everybody. We have another episode here for you. We have our special guest here, Trey. Trey, what's good? What's going on, man? <laughs> what's going on, man? Back in effect. Back in effect. Now, we done got already kicked off a little bit, but we're here to entertain and here to provide you guys with, you know, your, your, your weekly dose. So here we go. Um, we just came back from watching the wonderful but very, very discouraging and disturbing oh, fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Man, let's let's get into it, boy. Cause I'm I'm a little disappointed, man. I don't I don't know what to be disappointed about. A lot of people have already told me like, what did I, what else did I expect from a seven foot nine nigga? Like, I just I just don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I. Me personally, I, I felt like uh, it caught me off guard. I thought um, I thought Wilder was gonna, you know, fight back a little bit more than he did. But I think he just got got attacked and pounced on quickly. And um, yeah, it was a scary sight. It was a yeah, scary yeah. sight to see. I mean, we ain't see Tyson Fury bring this type of ruckus from the last fight. You know what I'm saying? So he, I, I would say he definitely dominated this fight. I mm-hmm. don't know. I don't know how by how much. I mean, obviously, you know the the Deontay Wilder's people threw in the towel. I think you what know. Are, what are you mentally handicapped? What do you mean you, you you know how much he, he dominated? He dominated enough for the towel to get thrown. Wait, in. wait, 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 wait! But he I, dominated enough for me to get my bread and talk my <laughs> shit. <laughs> True. No, but I, I just feel like you know fighters uh, fighters like that. When you're at that t- level of a caliber, you know what I'm saying. You're at a championship level. At least you know what I'm saying. Don't don't go out on your feet. Go out on your back. Take a loss like like a real loss, you know what I'm saying? Like no, no, no. He, he wanted to. I know he was pissed off that threw in the towel. Yeah, he didn't like, even no, expect it. I, I I was calling that shit from from since I was calling that shit, <laughs> bro. He was out on his feet since like round what was it like four? Five, like he yeah, he yeah. was bro. He was just out there surviving. As soon as as soon as the ear muscle memory is real, because uh, exactly he he was in them. To me, I consider them whole bunny uh, rabbit punches, which mm-hmm. are completely illegal. But like it, it was as if um, what's the name Fury Fury like he slipped them in at the right angle where it was like he he's not coming directly back there where you know for a fact it's illegal like he was coming right here right. like right at that cusp where it's like right over it's the still ear. hitting you in the same spot without being you know what I'm saying right illegal because dog I'm, dog he was out on his feet and he was looking like this I feel um, to be honest like Wilder Wilder did have that he had that wide eyed open like the eyes were wide open because but nobody was, was in the house <laughs> no, he was definitely in a survival mode where um he was just trying to just fend for himself and stay stay up right um, he was definitely he was definitely aware of what was going on it's just that he wasn't really he he knew that he had a few swings here and there you know he said he's, he can definitely hit so i think that's another yeah, reason why yeah, yeah that's, i think that's another reason why uh, tyson um, just tried to watch out for those swings, and he, you know, he was kind of faking them out with the jabs, and then he went in for the kill for the for the last round. No, but but not only that. I mean, Fury also came in knowing for a fact. I mean, Deontay Wilder ain't never really been tested before by a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Deontay Wilder was just out strengthening everybody. Period. Right, right, right. He he hit you one time, you out for the count. You know like, like he's taking off your jaw, your head's coming off your neck, all that shit. Oh, I, you know I, I, like I'm worried he, for Deontay, uh, uh, and, uh, Anthony Joshua. I'm really worried for him. That, that, come on, dog. You, you know how we, dog, this hashtag 1776, bro. He ain't stepping <laughs> foot in America, dog. He got Queen Elizabeth swag, dog. We got George Washington swag. True, You know true. what George Washington did? Dragged us by his nuts. <laughs> all through the Delaware River, dog. Let the nuts <laughs> hang, bro. You feel me? It's true, it's true, it's true. He had a little homie saying, hey, brother, red coats coming. He said, red coats? Nigga, we blue coats out here. <laughs> Bam! And that's, all that's what he said. That's I don't, what I don't, said. Condone, I don't condone the gang banging. I pay taxes, <laughs> I work, I don't do none of that. But that's what George Washington said, according to a historian that wrote his biography that never came out that I only read, allegedly. Facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? But I think Josh ain't coming over here. Right. Are you crazy as hell? No, Deontay Wilder will hit him so hard, mate. He 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 gonna go now, right back. Now still, 
After after the performance, I mean, I mean, today, I mean, that fight ain't gonna happen no more. Period. Right. Because now Anthony Joshua has the excuse of saying, "Oh, well, why would I fight you? You just got knocked the fuck out by well, the champion." You know, say, "What's the name? Played you like a little rag doll. Why would I fight you?" Instead of when it was supposed to happen, he was over there like, "Oh no, well, we can't get into an agreement with the price and blah blah and this this and that." You know, say, and 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 the same thing before. He was like, "Oh, why am I gonna fight Tyson Fury? Oh, oh, God, you a crackhead. You know, what I'm saying you are doing this and that. Right. Like, like, you're not worried you about pop fighting." Dirty off of the fight. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're not worried about fighting. No, he's scared. He playing the game. You got to remember, dog. They call French fries chips over there, bro. You going <laughs> to trust somebody like that, bro? Am I going to trust somebody that calls French fries chips? Not exactly. Are you crazy? If you tell me you got some chips for me, bro, and you don't come through with Lay's. Or some bread. If you come through with, if you come through with the waffle fries, bro, what I'm, what I'm supposed to do? Right, 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 right. We fighting. Yeah, we fighting. They, they don't even know about a Stone Cold Center out there in True. England, bro. Because, like, like, if you come at me with some crackers and it ain't Ritz, like, we got a problem. If you come and we got to be saltine. If you come at me with some crackers and it ain't a thick white bitch, bro, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to beat you to it, but I had to get the crackers out. But on some, um, some seriousness, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Fury walked up in that motherfucker, man. Fury was always the better skilled boxer. Like, like, oh, I agree. Like, like, like I was trying to say, Deontay Wilder ain't never really fight a motherfucker that he had to be tough. Deontay Wilder ain't technical. Deontay Wilder fight crazy, but the thing is, he hits so hard. Right, right, right. If he hits you, no, it's like getting smacked with sledgehammers all fight. Sure. It's just this big, flabby-looking motherfucker. <laughs> like, you look at him, like, you look at him, and, you, and then you look at Deontay Wilder, and be like, no, Deontay Wilder looking straight at the movie 300, bro. Right, 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 right. I, I was expecting him to kick him right in his shit, like, this is Sparta. <laughs> and Tyson Fury looked like he fucking, like, throws, like, he used to be a garbage man, like, in bro, England, like, just, like, Bundy. right, like, just throwing shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looked like he threw for four touchdowns in high school, you know what I'm saying? Al Bundy swag. Al Bundy swag. And, and, and look what that Al Bundy swag did, though. Right. Because Champion. of the technique. The technicality. He know how to move. He, and, 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 and great he was moving. Fame. And yeah. he was moving. He had a and, great fame. And that's what's crazy, because you look at him, he don't look like a motherfucker that knows how to move. Right, bro. right. He got zero definition. Yeah, he he got them crazy man boobs, buddy. Right. Though right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think it's because he has so much I think he has so much experience being down and out that he probably had a fight all that time that it just translates to the ring. Bro, it's easier than that. Easier than that. It's, it's easier than that. It's easier like, like the explanation for it. It's easier than that, bro. He was smoking crack, bro. You never bet against a crackhead. Ever. You Ever. never bet against Ever. a crackhead. One crackhead right now. Hit a lick here. They leave it with everything, like with ninety percent of shit by themselves. They put all that shit on one shoulder, and they're gonna ride a bicycle, and it's gonna be a pink bicycle, ages four to nine. Right. Then it's gonna be an adult size bicycle, and they gone. Oh, f- facts, facts. Crack it. This motherfucker was smoking crack and knocking motherfuckers out. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm giving him his just due. Like, he probably went through so much smoking crack that he's like, oh, this ain't nothing. Dog, <laughs> he you know, probably ain't even feel all them hits, nigga. Yeah, think about it, dog. Think about it. Not only that, but he also a gypsy. Right. You're a crack smoking gypsy. Right. Like, gypsy, you already know. I don't know if you've been at Target or at Publix <laughs> when, when gypsies shoplift, bro. Nah, nah. But they, they. My homies is gypsy. They, they off the chain. They off the chain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, no, yeah, like, like I, I, I ain't saying they try to diss them. No, no, I mean, listen, it's barely but that, you know what I'm saying? Now, but, but, but they, 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 they good at what they do. Oh, facts, facts. And, and what <laughs> they, they do is they, uh, they hustle through any means necessary. Right, right, right. So do, you, so do you feel like this, this was all a hustle? This was all a gambit? Like this was all just to get motherfuckers hype enough to buy into this fight from the last fight? Like you think the draw was enough bullshit? To, no. To give it to him now? No, 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 no. The last fight was a draw. It was a draw. 100% draw. Fair across the for, board. For me, it was a draw. Okay. And then, so, do you think that this is a complete reflection of that fight? Or do you feel like someone, this was, somebody came unprepared and we don't know who? Well, I mean, we obviously me, see who, but... I, I mean, to me, everything that happened makes complete sense. You got a motherfucker that, no matter what, hit you with, hit you with this overhand, your jaw broke, you know what I'm saying? Deontay Water slapped Trey right now. Trey, Trey gonna walk out with just a goatee. His beard gone. <laughs> no, I don't have facial hair. Nobody right, here right. has facial hair. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, bomb. Like, he, he hit me and fuck it. I don't even got a jaw, bro. I'm done. My whole, bro, my whole jaw back in the middle of the Republic. He just hit this motherfucker with all he had in the last round, the last time they fought. And this motherfucker wakes up like The Undertaker. 
Right, 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 right. So, what does that mean? If you the one, if you're the punchy, no, if you're the puncher, you're doing the punching. That right there gotta throw you off. Like, goddamn, everybody else I hit, they're dead. Right. They dead. This they motherfucker won't go. Stop. If yeah. you the punchy, you wake up, and then on top of that, you smoke crack. Right, right, right. He got up crack. like, like you're not a normal human being. Right. You use a smoke crack. <laughs> so now you get up and you're like, boom, that's it. I got him. I got him. Cause I already know I'm in your head. You always used to breaking jaws. And all of a sudden, and you hit me with anything you got. You ain't break my jaw. And, and I come back up before and, the 10 count. Right, and you ain't never seen a crackhead get up like that. <laughs> no, you, oh, no. Deontay you, Wilder ain't never seen a crackhead get up like that. You always see a crackhead <laughs> get up like that. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't see a crackhead fall off of the overpass on the 395. Oh, shit. That, that motherfucker got up like like nothing happened. He said, nah. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, crack. Oh. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Dre, what, what's your opinion on it? Like... Was it expected? Did um, you see it coming? Um, for, like, and, and for the record, we apologize because Trey speaks very low, so I'm trying to adjust his volume as he <laughs> as he speaks. Okay. That's as loud as he gets. <laughs> so um, I honestly feel like um, I was like I said, I was hoping that Wilder was going to win. That's who I thought was going to win. But if you think like I kind of think back now, um, just the way the other fight went um, in the later rounds, he was able to make a better comeback. Um, I think that's why he won. The first fight they had, right, right. so um, I think they kind of, I think what um, Fury did, he he capitalized on what he did. But last. it was a draw. The first fight they had, it was a draw. True, um, but I feel like the first few rounds he was attacking him Completely. in the first in the first match. So I feel like he kept it. He kept applying the pressure this time, but he was landing a lot harder hits. Um, I don't know. It just seemed like Wilder wasn't himself. Like I thought, I thought something was off. Um, and, and like he said, no excuses. But like I never see, I've never seen, and I've seen Wilder like go, go, or or at least get hit, but not look like that. He right. just he, he didn't look, he, he didn't look good. Yeah, yeah, he didn't look good. It looked completely like he underperformed. See, because because to me, to me, is it like people with, when they watch boxing, just to watch boxing, and then you're drinking and you're watching it. You know what I'm saying? And you're watching combat sport. What you're looking for is that big, uh, that right. big moment. Like you really don't pay attention to to the body work. Fury, dog, oh, Fury was hitting the fuck out of his body. Mm-hmm. Oh, so especially you, that you, the you, last round, he caught him clean in the stomach. Everybody hurt. <laughs> it's I, like, mean, I mean, you already know, bro. I mean, I mean, I mean, you play football, yeah. bro. Bro, when you get hit, when you hit that smack, and, and, yeah, and and, and 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 all you feel is your lungs hit the frame. Yeah. And you go. <gasps> Oh yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah. So imagine a six foot nine motherfucker that weighs forty <laughs> pounds more than you. Forty pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's at least five pounds in that hand more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, like 40 pounds more than you. Like, like we all done been hit. But hit by 40, 40 pounds, pounds yeah, more? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. You already know. And I made it right there. Yeah. Right there. No, right yeah, there. you feel it. Yeah. Right there. And also, I, I imagine you forgot to do sit-ups that way. And also, Trey called right it there. like he was putting his weight on him the whole fight. Yeah. And oh, I didn't oh, take his count for it. Yeah. You want to clinch? Bet. Bam. He, he put him a little headlock. Give him a little nugget. And then licked him. <laughs> no, no, no. See, he licked him after he licked him. Right, 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 right. That's about to be a meme. Oh, yeah, it's, for sure. It's definitely a meme right now. It's, 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 what you it's, said, Netflix and chill. Yeah, that's going to be the meme. Like, after 20 minutes, Netflix, <laughs> Netflix doing... <laughs> it's it's, it's, like it's that between Shakira that and Shakira. Shakira yeah. Right, yeah, I was going to say. Shakira it's Shakira one. shit. Yeah, no, no. And then I wanted to get into that, too. I mean... We we did have the uh, Super Bowl pass. We did watch it. We all oh yeah, we, we had a little yeah, no, yeah. We did have a little break. Yeah, we had a little break. Well, because you got sick, I got sick. You know, no coronavirus, just coronas. And so- oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Don't, don't, don't nobody be worried. See, like coronavirus can't exist in Miami. The doctors already talked about it. Like, like cocaine killed the coronavirus. So in Miami, it can never exist because everybody's so fucked up in Miami. Like, ain't, ain't it no, just in the air. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like it's a hole. They like, like, they already to did. it. Uh, right, right. If I'm not mistaken, like, like, they already did a study. They said 99 point whatever. Like, that shit look like my my uh, my child support note. 99.997% <laughs> of money from Miami contaminated with cocaine. Oh, for sure. Like, if not, you ever deal with $1 dollar, bills, yeah, $1 bills not, for sure. Anything. 100% of $100 bills are. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? 100% of $100 bills. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, God forbid. I'm going to touch it. A $1 bill, right? The George Washington be covered. The, 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 only bi- the only bill you save for it is a $2 bill because not everybody <laughs> got one, bro. Facts, facts. You know no, I mean? but I mean, you probably always heard this, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying as just knowing this, but just always in South Florida, like, 
I I don't just know niggas that just done snorted enough cocaine where they literally no no for real that where they literally tell you that George Washington does all they coke because this is just one of those things this is just one of those 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 like historical Miami things like George Washington does all the coke <laughs> this goes back to the Trick Daddy episode who got cash on him who got a dollar bill oh, on no, him I, gave, dollar. I gave it to the valet. I'm, I'm gonna show you something crazy. On, on some real shit. Real right. shit. Something you've never seen before. On, some, the, on some real shit. Boom, put it you in got, the camera. Baller! <laughs> <laughs> no pocket checking, no pocket checking. <laughs> on, on some real shit. If you look at dollar bills from Florida, George Washington the eyeball like this. He do all the cocaine, for real. Tr- shout out to Trick yeah, Daddy. <laughs> get a dollar bill from Tennessee. George Washington be like, he just chill it. <laughs> you George Washington from, from Miami. You know what I'm saying? Not from Port Charlotte. Uh, he bugged out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, not, not from fucking Port St. Louis. Casa Pama, whatever that shit called up. No, not from Brandon. From Miami. You know what I'm saying? From West Palm. You know what I'm saying? From the Tri County area. <clears throat> George Washington, like, hey, 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 what's up, man? You guys were saying? You got 10? You got 10? You, right, right. <laughs> you got some quarters? You got some quarters? But going, going into the Super Bowl. Um, what do you guys think about the performance, man? We had a beautiful Shakira and J Lo share the stage. Um, you know, J Lo's uh, daughter too. Oh, J Lo's daughter as well, as well. I really do feel for uh, bad for a little bit, a little bit, just for all my other Latino community out there, because I know y'all mad as fuck that J Lo came up with the big doing, the big Puerto Rican flag, and kind of shitting on y'all, man. I'm just sorry to tell you, bro. It's all right. It's all right for all y'all feelings for J Lo, the queen. Then came, then came and put it on you. Then came and put it on you. Shakira might have that little, but guess what? J Lo put it on you. Oh, do that one more time. <laughs> 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 That's what Shakira sound like, nigga. I'm just make, I'm we just, need, I'm just showing we, we you what she did. Fucking, we need an Oral B sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dog got that ginger virus on the mic. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. Shout out to Keaton Ivory Waynes, bro. Because he if it wasn't for that if he never put that bitch as a fly girl, bro, she'd still be in the Bronx sucking New York dick, bro. Facts, facts. There was nothing. I'm telling you. That's why I think she ended up with A Rod. She knew the New York dick. She was like, I gotta stay with it. <laughs> bro, he, he never gonna got, get it, it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. He Miami, bro. He Miami. A Rod? He, he more Miami than New York, bro. No way. He played for the Yankees, but that motherfucker he was Did a he go he, to high school down there? He was a yeah yeah he was the what's it called um West if Minnesota. I remember I think it was yeah West, West Minnesota Academy that in day no he was he was shit. supposed to go he was supposed to go to the U but he was so raw that he was straight to the league from high school mm. he was a, he, he was gonna go to the U so what he ended up doing is he ended up donating a lot of money to the U after he got after he got paid right 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 because the whole the, the whole thing behind his bread was Kevin Garnett just signed with the Celtics and Kevin Garnett at the time was like and he said oh, the oh, max no, no, payout right or right. or. Or, or was it the extension with the with the Timberwolves? I don't remember what it was, but Kevin Garnett signed that contract, and it was the the, the biggest payout ever in sports history. And literally, fucking Alex Rodriguez was talking to his agent. He was just like, "I want one million more than he has." Right, right. He goes, I just I just want more money. Yeah, Are you boys, okay? Baby. They ain't trying to budge a lot. I just want more money than Kevin Garnett, and that that was his and whole. He got it. That right, was right, the right. Nego- but that was the whole negotiation. I want more money than Kevin Garnett. Right, right. And that's, that's it. it. And he, of course he got it, buddy. Of course, and Great it's baseball. Great, of course he got it. Ain't no salary cap on top of that. You know what I'm saying? My, my dog was on good roids. <laughs> the good roids. I, I'm trying to get on this because I, I, I got I got knee problems right there on the left one, <laughs> and I don't want to get my knee drained. I, I'm too much of a bitch. I'm too. <laughs> Like, like, did that shit hurt? Getting your knee drained? Type shit? I never got it drained. I've usually just iced them. I've got you know, you know, No, I, I could have sworn you got them drained back in the day when we was nah, just. I, I had really bad knees, but I usually, yeah. I just got an MRI and I had like some ice. Stuff oh. Like so just a little rice treatment and yeah, back, back in the game. Yeah. Okay. So we got the Super Bowl. We got uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs as the champions. You know what I'm saying? I, I, already, I already called it, man. This is just the year of the suckers, man. No offense to Patrick Mahomes, but... You know, the, the usual champions that you get, you just didn't get this time. You got some new cats, which they fully deserve. Patrick Mahomes really put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Richard Sherman got let down once again by another championship team. But, hey, it, it, it is what it is. No, I, I mean, Richard Sherman. <laughs> you know Where do you start? Right. 
Uh, all right, so De you know, uh, Darrell Reeves was talking this shit, and everybody's saying he's a hater. But, no, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know the game um, like I know the game, bro. I don't think Everything Darrell Reeves said about Sherman yeah, was, true, like was true, bro. It's 100% um, true, bro. And, and uh, um, I'm going to take it back to Nami. Nami Asamoah. Um, oh, no, he was my favorite when he was with the Raiders, baby. He was great. No, but he was a free agent. I wanted the package to get him so bad. But the coverage and the scheme that they had at the Raiders fit him. Fit yes. His, his and then when he, Eagles, when he went to the Eagles, he went to the Eagles. Everybody was like, dang, it's a disappointment why we gave him all this money. Blah, 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 blah. But he's, the, 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 the coverage that they had at the Eagles was not it didn't suit fitting him. for him. And that's the same thing with uh, Sherman. I agree. Sherman is, is a great uh, he's he's good at what he does, but the thing is, at the age he is now, he's not following that particular like that main receiver everywhere. Mm -hmm. Or if he is, he's in a scheme where he still is at least getting assistance from the safety. So I don't I don't think Revis is hating. I think it's more so he just calling it out. He he, he, see, he never he never said he does he he's hating on him. He's just saying you're not. Man, like literally, you could look at like film on Revis, and the whole secondary he's shutting is on you down. one side of, of the, the field, field. Right, 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 as right. opposed to you know Revis by himself right, and no safety, safety over top. No, no safety all, over top. The safety is over here, down in the box. Right. He's literally by himself. And so if he gets man. beat, if he gets beat, he he's gets gone. beat. Right, right, right. Bro, it was that, called Revis Island for a reason, bro. Sherman is not doing that now. But no, no, but you know? he, I mean, he rarely ever did though. Yeah. He rarely ever did. I mean, you also had Earl Thomas on, on, on your team, too. So, you know, but like I said, Earl Thomas was more of like, he didn't always play deep as well. He would he would roam. That's why I said uh, Sherman at one point, what he would play, he played a lot more man back then. Right. Yeah. But I feel like now he doesn't play that that scheme anymore. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to. Yeah, probably give a five yard know. bump and just leave it to I, I mean, every, every so what happened in the Super Bowl when he was playing, he was getting burned every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, but 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 that's what gets me upset because people say, "Oh, really? You just a hater," and, and that's a problem. Like this new generation always feels somebody a hater when you just say a question, when you just ask something. Like, "Oh, right. but oh man, you well, hate you that hate. name? Oh, why right. you ask hate that mother?" But then I laugh because th there's a dude that I follow that because he's a great writer and he knows a lot about hip hop. It's some uh, some dude from Boston, um, Dart Adams, I believe his, his name is. Okay. If, if I'm not mistaken. Dart Adams. If if, if I hold on. Before I continue, because I don't, I don't want to say it wrong. You know what I'm saying? No, no, why, you do sure. why are you doing that? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep filling in time. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm no, well, I'm going to ask Dark Adams. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um. I was literally just going to ask you know, about Patrick Mahomes. Like, he brought, uh, oh, I got a lot to say about Patrick Mahomes as well. So, basically, like, because you see with the generation. You say anything about anybody, but I, oh, man, you motherfucker, but I don't know. This motherfucker, he an old head. This is what we call an old head. That people be like, oh man, you like that boomity babbity babbity boobity rap, and blah, blah. but but he's very knowledgeable and everything he knows. And he was naming a whole bunch of old school. I'm talking about old school rappers, dog. I'm talking right. about motherfuckers. I can't even lie to you, bro. I ain't never heard of a nigga named Pebble Poo in my life. <laughs> like he, never. Right. He bringing shit up. But then all the young and, and then all these young motherfuckers hating on. Him. Oh man, that bitch had it. It's the exact same thing, bro. It's a complete cycle. It just depends on what you like. So that's why I like because I, I like Reavers. Okay. I made I made money when the Seahawks won, baby. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I like Reavers. And, and I love the swag. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, he thinks he thinks he's Dion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can wrap up better than Dion. You know what I'm saying? You can tag a little bit better than Dion, but you ain't Dion, dog. You ain't Dion, bro. And there will never be another Dion. Right, is, right, is, right. is what I'm saying. You, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get a couple picks, nigga. And take it to the crib. Right, right, right. It's just a different game. And, and, and then go Shout to, to and, the Florida State. <laughs> and, and, then, and then go and and then go to the Braves and hit a couple home runs the same week. You ain't gonna dog. No, no, athletes were different back then, bro. We had dog. No, <laughs> Bo no. Jacksons of the world, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Bo Jacksons. The 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 no, boy, boy, fucking talking about Patrick Mahomes. His old boy was a pitcher, man. Right, right, right. Bro, Patrick Mahomes. I talk about this shit with the motherfuckers at work, and I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. <laughs> Here go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. So, uh, I don't know if y'all familiar with Franco Harris no. for the Steelers. Steelers, he, he made that beautiful shoestring catch and all that shit with Terry Bradshaw with the quarterback. Like, it was right on. Okay. Franco Harris, crazy motherfucker. Now, Franco Harris, you look at Franco Harris, you be like, okay, boom. Franco Harris, fine. Black dude. 
Pittsburgh, all the Italians were after him. Like, nah, nah, Franco Harris went up. That motherfucker was like 116th Italian. They go, but I'm the great Italian receiver. That's up. So I started talking at work. And you say, well, electricians and the welders and all that shit. I said, hey, man, what did my Patrick Mahomes do? Nah, man. I said, what do you mean? He half white, bro. Like, y'all need to be claiming him. Nah, nah. You know I said, dog, how racist could you be, dog? <laughs> to want him one day and, and. No, 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 no. They don't even want him. I'm just saying, bro, what's wrong with you? The same thing with Steph Curry. I said, bro, he half black, half white. That's half a, you know what I'm saying? If he put 400 three-pointers, that means 200 is on the white side. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like that move. Give me five on the black hand side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Step, you know what I'm saying? Patrick Mahone gonna be looking like this. God damn, I don't even know. I'm confused. Patrick Mahone lighter <laughs> right. than me, bro. Right, right, right. He don't know, he don't know what hair to go to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he can't Millie Rock on every block. <laughs> I, know, I, I, know, I know for a fact he was Millie Rock in... You know what I'm saying? For Trump. Right. I know that for me. He sound like he want to make America great. <laughs> He's so but, but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like nah, man, I fuck with Patrick Mahomes. But it's like, man, you know what I'm saying? Why don't the white people fuck with him for? I don't know. Because I, don't know. I think speaking, it's the curly hair. I think it's the curly hair. Steph, Steph, no or, Steph Curry. No, no, but he, he ain't got no curly hair, bro. Yeah, he got curly hair. Nah, nah, nah ain't, ain't no curly He got curly more bro. curly hair than Steph Curry. Nah, he ain't got no curly hair. Mahomes nah, don't look white, though. Right. Act, nah, nah, he do. He looks nah. mixed. He looks, yeah, he looks he mulatto. How he you definitely like to, looks mixed. How you like yeah, to be called? He, he, he looks like a mulatto, mulatto white man. De- <laughs> and he definitely has curly hair. All right, wait, how do you say, how do you say, Jada, tell it, tell, tell the story about your mulatto experience. No, that shit was hot. <laughs> no, man, I'm, I'm at the bar. I don't know if Trey was with me or not, but I know I had a couple motherfuckers from Pro Club there. Like, we was at a bar in downtown. Like I said, I don't know if he was there nah, or not. Like, like Diddy was, okay, boss, so he wasn't there. So it was Diddy, you know what I'm saying, Vern, b way a couple motherfuckers be over there just chilling. True what? story, matter of fact. Oh, oh, the true, even when the nigga true story, is a true story, bitches. <laughs> so I'm over there just relaxing and saying, but I'm chilling. White bitch pull up. He looking at her like, God damn, the bitch. Oh, man, fuck, huh? She pull up like, oh, man. You want a sexy mulatto man. Huh? And I was just like, it's a very weird way to fucking <laughs> yeah. describe me right now. Like, 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 <laughs> like, like Mulatto, like, no, you know, like that, that shit ain't been in the Webster Dictionary since uh, 1844, bitch. Like, <laughs> that's how I man. know this racist pussy gonna be fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, boom. And, 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 and when she continued, we'll say, like, oh, sexy Mulatto man with all these sexy toggling, man. I'm in him right now. I said, but I said, man, boom, I'm trying to holler at him. I'm trying to set up that, that motherfucking Amtrak on that pussy, Wait, man. You're the Mulatto man? I'm the, yes. Mula- I'm the Mulatto man. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck the mulatto man? I don't know who else. I'm was. the mulatto. I think Diddy Vern B Way. Ain't nobody looking mulatto in that motherfucker. Right, Their names right. is Diddy Vern and B Way. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. So boss, I'm like, but I'm about to run Amtrak on this whole nigga. We got to go to Tri County on this pussy nigga. Bye. <laughs> I saw talking to this bitch, man. She tell me she's from Georgia, but I'm looking at her. I said, I said, oh my, of course you're from Georgia. That bitch was missing some important teeth. <laughs> like, like, like the vid. I said, oh, no. The teeth were throwing up gang signs and shit? No, <laughs> no, missing, missing teeth, bro. Like, you, yo, you, you can't be no grown ass individual. You hollering at me and, and, and you missing, not the front tooth, but you missing the number four canine. <laughs> Don't holler at me. You know, I used to fuck with dentists back in the day. You, you, you can't come over here missing a canine, bro. Right, 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 right. No, it's <laughs> <true. laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> She was, but now, yeah, I was, like I said, that bitch said, oh, mulatto, man. So, like I said, why won't the white folk get behind the Steph Currys or the Clay Thompsons? Clay Thompson Or, 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 or the Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, he sound like he could be Ed Orgeron's son, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, man, I'm not even talking about now. Hey, I'm not even talking about now. <laughs> no, he did. no, it's true, it's true. Like, that. I mean, it's, it's a it's a very interesting concept. It's a very interesting question. I mean, I think it'll pass with time, but, you know, only time can tell. Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing, bro. Not to be a no whatever, whatever, but I'm going to tell you that now to be good, we own it. You know what I mean? Don't be hitting me with no beautiful, politically correct answer, man. <laughs> what you mean? You sounded like... Oh, that you sounded, like, sounded great. You yeah, sounded yeah. like Walter Cronkite, <laughs> Cronkite. And you're like, yes, yes, it's very... Who knows what is the reason behind this <laughs> abysmal <laughs> okay, tragedy okay. of the mulatto situation? <laughs> However, 
You know shot, shot on me. I got it. I got like, it. Like, <laughs> like, you, like you look like Patrick Mahomes' unathletic little brother, bro. I could have like, been his little brother. The next part. You, know, like, you look like Patrick Mahomes who never took up sport. <laughs> I ain't never thought of football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. You're going to be mad as hell when you try to throw that basketball against me. <laughs> shit, man, you know I'm going to talk my shit. No, you finna get balled out. I don't I don't know. I don't know, Jay, that. It, it, it's, I don't know. It's something to worry. I don't know. I don't let the curls on furls. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find my damn skull. I don't know where that bitch went. You see what I'm saying? That's how faded I am. I'm trying to mask up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm trying to mask up. Oh, 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 my God. Watch oh. it, Kodak. Oh. <laughs> you know, to get the plies in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey man, New York only, New York's finest. <laughs> you, no, oh no, 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 coming straight from the nine five four. I don't know nobody with more nine five four fitters than oh, this man. guy. <laughs> every every this color, <laughs> shit looking like I don't a even fucking. Wear them anymore. Oh, 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 what? Them, oh, you're embarrassed? I'm not, definitely not. Are I you, always rep the 954. Are you lurking? Nah, I, I, <laughs> always, I always rep the 954. I'm from Miramar. I never, I never not claim that. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, just say, let me get a Lucy. <laughs> Jada. Hey, let me get a Lucy. <laughs> Three, four dollars at the sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. No, all, all fun and games, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs, which is not in Kansas. <laughs> no, 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 it is in Kansas, yeah, bro. I mean, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 because apparently that's like a big thing. Bro, it was oh, a big thing. Bro, no, no, because, hold on, what's the state near the Kansas? Missouri. You sure? Yes, nigga. They're all sister states. I, I don't know what that means. But you agree with that? I thought it was in Missouri. Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Okay, Kansas all right. City. All right. It's Kansas City, Missouri. The nah, nah, dog, dog. They're right here. Right. They're right here. There's a Kansas City, Kansas, and then there's a Kansas City, nah, Missouri. Nah, bro, but the thing is, li- dog, Missouri. Yeah, it is. Missouri. You see this knuckle, and you see this knuckle? That's okay. Kansas City in two different states. Right. It's literally the exact same thing, bro. No, 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 no. There's a Kansas City that's on the other side. But they ain't got, bro, they ain't they got, got no Indians in Missouri, bro. Right, but that's why they got... Listen, they that's got, why it's in they Kansas. Got, they got East Side, West Side beef, bro, in Kansas. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> hey, they hey. got East Side, West Side beef in all Kansas. The, hey, all the real niggas allegedly from Topeka. Well, that I think that's one of the capitals, but that's not the point. <laughs> Topeka, no, I'm, I'm telling you. Apparently, they, they got a lot of gang banging going on in Topeka. Kansas. Oh, they got a, they got a lot of gang banging going on in everywhere. Ain't they? they got gang banging going on in Nashville right now. Every state has it. Right, as I'm saying, gangland, nigga. You check it out every day on the Oh, no, for sure. That, that's why you know what I do? I look for the gated community. Everywhere I go. You look for the gentrification? I'm through over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Gentrification. You feel me? <laughs> but no, it's some serious shit, Mike. It's Kansas City, Kansas. And then Kansas City, Missouri. But they write, like, literally, the border separates them, bro. Like, literally, the cities are even right next to each other. I'm going to take your word for it because I don't have the time. Dog, I'm telling you. See, right see, 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 motherfucker want to say that shit. Continue. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the no, the motherfucker want to say that shit because Trump said Kansas. And everybody just wanted this Trump. Well, because he thought that it was really in Kansas. Because it is in Kansas, homie. So it's Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> He got you. He got you on that one. He got you. I alley did to myself. <laughs> you better, you better, you better That's just, the victory walk right there. I'm about to slam him. Slam him with the Heineken butt over his head like the fucking Wicked Witcher or the, the Wicked Witcher of the East. Right. At the beginning of the movie, the whole house fell out of him. About to throw a whole case of Coronas on your head, bro. But then, no, I'm some, I'm some real shit, but think about it. Kansas City Chiefs. They talk about Indians. What kind of Indians you heard about in Missouri, bro? Bro, if you write they, one the more Indians time, in Kansas, Trey gonna be looking but, but like. But you gotta realize, like back in the day, though. <laughs> right, right. Back, back in, in the day, wasn't like the. Um, they drew the lines, bro. Yeah, that's where the railroad tracks were and all that stuff. Like, wasn't that? I, I, I never, I never lived in Kansas, bro. I don't know. I've been to Missouri. No, I've been to Missouri. I've never been to Kansas. When they drew state never, lines, okay. yeah. I think that's where, like, that's where the whole issue was. That's like even with the Washington Redskins, like. Them trying to change the um. Bro, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, 
I was blown away when the Washington Redskins, when I found out them motherfuckers ain't in the state of Washington. Now you just blew my mind. Where are they? Are they in Washington, D.C., if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. They're oh, not in the state I of Washington. They were in the state of Washington. Oh, right? no, I knew they weren't in the state bro, of Washington. That, <laughs> no, no, but that blew you know my that. mind. You just blew my you mind. I'm not a baseball guy. No, that's, that's bad. That's football. I'm even worse. I just made myself even worse. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you see why <laughs> we don't talk sports on this show. <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm over here with Ed Moe and Curly, voted one. Uh, yeah, so they're they're in Washington D.C. Bro, but that blew thought, my mind though. We got to think about it. Yeah, why wouldn't you have it in Washington? You had the you had the Seattle SuperSonics at one point. That's basketball. I know. Yeah, but I, I just think it's not a, a state that um, it's popularized. It's popularized. That's why they moved all those those uh, sports out of those states. Right. I, like, I mean, how do you feel about the Las Vegas Raiders? Um. It sounds dangerous. I don't, it sounds yeah, dangerous. It, it, it does. Sounds, it's like two things that shouldn't mix. It Las does. Vegas so, Raiders. <laughs> you know who gonna make, either make or lose a lot of money? <laughs> guess. Come on, guess. Come on. I don't fucking know. I just fucked up on the Washington that, Redskins. That's a great guess. I appreciate it. Guess. Um, I don't know, to be honest. The only player that I think about when I think about gambling my dog Pete Rose, either gonna make a lot of money, he's gonna <laughs> lose a lot of money. Bro, he's a degenerate. Bro, when we, when we was at Duffy's, yeah, that yeah, motherfucker yeah. Firefly said that he saw a collectible store in Las Vegas. He said, fuck it, let me go inside. They got some Raw's pictures. I wanna buy some. He said, he walked in, and when he looked in the corner, all the way in the back, he said, what the fuck? That's Pete Rose. And he walked up, like, hey, man. Wait, like, it was an actual. The, it was Pete actual- Rose. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's how much of a degenerate this guy is, bro. Like, bro, like he, bro, he Still lives in Vegas. Vegas. No, he he has it, and he, and he says he continues to gamble in Vegas. And for me, you know, what I'm saying I, I know we going on the top of going over there, but to me, after this shit that happened with the with the Houston Astros and everything that's going on, he got to be reinstated because two years ago when I went to that Marlins game and they was fucking sucking Ichiro Suzuki's dick, talking about he 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 got the 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 most hits in the league. Bro, they took his league for uh, hits from the MLB and from the Japanese league. Right, right. They said, oh, bro, he's the hit leader. Bro, MLB hits is the only thing that counts. Right, right. And he's a long way away from Pete Rose. That's what makes what he got so special. Because when that motherfucker was young, bro, you, you can look up his history from when he started in the league. That motherfucker wasn't raw at all. He became raw as fuck. And he stayed on that team because that motherfucker, that's why his name was Charlie Hustle. Right, right. He run out the first base and then hit a motherfucker with a, he run in the I first base it. and then broke, <laughs> drop that shoulder and make sure you ain't never catching that ball. He run, no, in the all-star game, that <laughs> motherfucker w- w- was coming from third base, stealing home, slid so hard, injured the goddamn catcher during the all-star game. He ain't playing no games, bro. Wait, 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 everything you know, serious. Man? Because that's big. That's why he shouldn't be suspended, bro. He was betting on the game while he was because he was a coach and a player at the same time. Right, right. But he was betting on his team. Right, he wasn't betting against it. He was betting on the team, <laughs> bro. This nigga playing so hard, he about to injure the fuck out your ass. That's how you know he ain't betting against his team, bro. <laughs> how you gonna ban this nigga for life? He's you gonna ban him for life? We, you gonna ban? Oh, we shoot. gonna win. Oh yeah. <laughs> we gonna win. Come hella hot, water. <laughs> you gonna ban shoeless Joe Jackson? Had the best average in the 1919 World Series. I know, now I'm going too far, but okay, I really love baseball. The Black Sox yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I, I really love baseball. But he said, you go and you go ban him, even though he had the best performance. But you gonna tell me all these motherfuckers on the assholes, you ain't gonna do nothing about it? Because right, right, you right. can't do nothing about it because the players you knew? Nah, dog, you're, you're it's a fucking. Different time, it's a different time. But you see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, now the conversation is going even further, baby. <laughs> now, Deflake. <laughs> Deflake. See, <laughs> see but, think about, but think about it, though. But the players you knew. Police officers, they can whoop your ass. They still got a job. Police union. What do we need in the country? We need a. We gotta go. Ba- we gotta go back to the fucking fifty. No, we need a fucking workers union. Yo, when niggas had unions in the country, everybody was living good. Right, right, right. Everybody living, nigga. Everybody was living like motherfucking leaving the beaver. Right, <laughs> good. Dog was Suburbs, yeah. nigga, your, your bitch at the crib. She got the jits, Grass and cut. you got the only whip. You know what that means? Right. Nobody going nowhere. <laughs> you can, nigga. You get off of work. You fucking yard a bitch. <laughs> and she still can't go nowhere. Ain't nobody going nowhere. Cause no bitches got whips. Right, right. 
Ferrari out here. And there was no Uber. Wait, wait, there, wait. Was no, there, there was no no taxi. lift. B- hey, hey, bitches just cooking pot roast and sucking dick. <laughs> That's all they're doing. Hey, wait, wait, I want. Hey, hey, what you want? I want a pot roast, bitch. <laughs> I'll be home at nine when I tell you I'm home. I'm good. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm I'm home when the door opens, bitch. Right, right. <laughs> make sure the kids make sure the kids do their fucking homework. <laughs> you ain't got no goddamn job. Look how far we came from the Super Bowl <laughs> to, from Patrick Mahomes to to the Patrick the, Mahomes. The Patrick Mahomes actually looked. He, he looked like Leave It to Beaver. <laughs> Except you say his hair, his hair a little bit more coarse, but as he looked like Leave It to Beaver, okay. and he sounded like Leave It to Beaver's grandfather. <laughs> hey man, hey, let me do that. But okay. so yeah, I throw it to the flats. So listen, we got the Super Bowl. We got the fight Deontay Wilder tonight. I mean, we got a, we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on, and I mean, I'm trying to cover as much as we can. I mean, it's February. It's Black History Month. Um, those are just steep waters that I just can't mm. do right now. <laughs> D- Dominican Independence coming up. Dominican Independence coming the tw- up. The 27th, y'all already know. Juan Pablo the White there. I don't know if it's going to be there this year. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, last time I was there, uh, three motherfuckers got shanked at the park. So I don't know if it's going to be there this year. If it's not... With whole it, machetes or just like little baby shanks? No, no, no. no. Just regular five-inch shanks. Oh, okay. So yeah. they carried it like... To term and then chuck them. <laughs> it's regular five inch shanks. It's something regular, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got him with that. I you think. Got you. You the daddy. <laughs> you yeah, the daddy. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if it's going to be back at Juan Pablo the White, though, with any Alapata. Hopefully it's not. Motherfucker be dangerous out there. Like, these, like y'all the Dominicans that need to be deported. <laughs> we ain't got no space in America. This is a first world country. Coming from a Dominican, so. Oh, oh, you're damn right. We ain't got no space for y'all, motherfuckers. Go back to La Capital. Get the fuck out of here. And don't be hanging out in Santiago, neither. Y'all ruining Santiago, too, <laughs> which, which we're delinquents. Yeah, we ain't got no job for that. <laughs> no, no, I, I agree. No, no. We, we like, are people with, with fucking modales, going you. God damn. Confianza, right, right, right. So you supposed to, God damn, I'm supposed to fuck with you, man. But. If it's not there, then it's going to be at Amelia Earnhardt and Obelaga. That should be live. <laughs> Amelia Earnhardt, mad big, dog. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, no, yeah, I know yeah, what you're yeah. talking about. Mad That's big. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you already know. <laughs> dog. See, and Amelia Earnhardt, mad hard. Big, 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 bomb. You have a festival on one side of the park. On the other side of the park, you literally got a Mexican nigga, like, bringing in 10 keys. And then on the other side, like, you got a governor coming in to, like, bro, like, Amelia so Earnhardt. To wash it all up. <laughs> nigga, nigga, that shit right down the street from the, um... The executive airport. Oh, okay. But if I'm not mistaken, I yeah, think it's is. connected through like, you know what I'm saying, through security checkpoint, but all that shit connected. Oh, okay. So yeah. they definitely put it in your way. Nigga. <laughs> allegedly, 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 that's where it's happened about a couple shits to America from. Straight from the executive of Palaka. But I'm oh, I that's for sure. Point. That's you for know, sure. Like, hey, that's uh, his, that's historical. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I mean there's a reason why, why they're charging you so much money at, at, at a Winwood store for a painting, and you don't see no customers. And you're like, how the fuck do they pay their rent? Facts. And it ain't through selling ugly ass art. Right. I say that. <laughs> the art look like ass. Right, right, right. And you want to charge? You know, so you want to charge thirty bands for some? We go what? That's how it is. That's the hustle. I, I, I got a nephew that can paint that shit, man. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right for the oh yeah. All I gotta give this nigga is, is some Nutella. Right. <laughs> That's it. Do some screen you know, for a piece of Nutella. <laughs> got, right. I know a couple of hoes do something strange for a piece of Nutella too. You gotta, <laughs> but, you gotta, but you gotta dip your dick in the Nutella. But that's another story. She sound like a bitch, and she might have four legs, nigga. <laughs> you doing some strange with four-legged creatures? <laughs> you know what? I'm going with that one. I, I quit. I quit. <laughs> so look, here we are, man. Just you know. Another month, uh, a new episode for you guys. We really do appreciate you guys coming through. I mean, anything you guys want to round off on? I mean, we got the Super Bowl. We got Deontay Wilder. We got, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of festivals and shit coming on. March, March. Anything y'all looking forward to in March? I'm looking for stock prices to go up, man. Y'all go, listen, I fully oh. condone this because, hey, I came up that day. I fully condone this, man. If y'all listen to right now, bro, 
You got $100 that's just sitting in your bank account. Fuck that bank. Put it in the stocks, bro. I'm not going to say you're not going to lose. I'm just saying you have a better chance of winning. Bro. A nigga just been mad lucky in recent years. Bruh. Go ahead, go ahead and start read read the news, bro. Read the news and Bruh. take your own predictions, bro. No, a nigga hit, a nigga bro, hit, bro. Right now, <laughs> you, you you bought Sprint, yeah, bro. Oh, a nigga hit, if, my, my nigga. If I would have bought that shit when we first talked about it, oh, no, yeah. I only want to talk about this shit right oh, now. I'm, I'm, I'm if, like I yeah. if I would have bought this shit, well, well, excuse me, when we talked about it originally, right? Sprint was, if I'm not mistaken. It was just under five, so I want to say it was like at four eighty nine. Right, 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 right. Uh, I checked it. Today's what Saturday? Excuse me. I checked that bitch Thursday. Thursday, that bitch um was at a uh, a fifty two week high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At at almost eleven dollars, bro. When I five dollars, right, 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 bro. <laughs> I know. I cashed out, bro. What, no, when I thought about <laughs> when I thought about that shit, and then I saw what I did invest in, and like, like, like the I, difference I, I, is, I, yeah. no, no, I, I cleared. I mean, I'm, I'm still in the hole, and what I invested in, I'm still in the hole, and I'm gonna be in the hole for a while. Like, let me oh, wow. say, I, I got like, I got like damn near five hundred or something shares in something that right, I right. bought. That you're waiting to come like, at least break even. I hear you. No. I'm in the hole, and bro. That's the thing. No, no, Nigga, no. I'm dog. No, if I would have put that money in Sprint. And, I, and I'm using Sprint right now, bro. Right, right, right. That's the crazy thing about it. You got, you, you got to <laughs> pay Trust for what issues. you use. No, 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 no. Hey, no, real talk. This is my this is my best advice. And and any stock marketer dude will tell you this, and it's true. And it's true because I'm seeing it, and I'm seeing the growth. Invest in shit you already have. If you're wearing Nike, buy Nike. If you got an iPhone, buy Buy I buy Apple stock. I'm if you fucking if you buy at Publix, baby. you already buying products at Publix. Motherfucker, put stock in Publix. I'm not saying to put stock in Publix, but be equal to that situation. <laughs> you white girl said them niggas crazy. I hope no one hurt. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying this because nah, that's, that's smart. A nigga that came up recently, and I'm you know what I'm saying I, I made so I made. Do nice. you recommend like? A certain time of the month or like certain time no of the no month. no i would say read the news if you see anybody coming out with a new product I got, personally personally i got completely lucky like on my shit like um i invested in uh ge general Electric. right right but like when i jumped in though that shit was like at it was like seven ninety eight dollars right right like right now that hole was at like 13. That's like, good. like that was just complete luck I invested in, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what nobody say because I already know how motherfuckers is. I invested a lot in private prisons. Why? Because there's only one thing I know in life. Niggas gonna go to jail. Facts, facts. Always. Why? Because I don't went to jail. Right. <laughs> and if you would go to jail, that means anybody easy, bro, would go to jail. <laughs> no, I'm telling you right now, the easiest thing in this world, other than just being a good human being, the easiest thing in this world is going, going to, to jail. Going to jail. Right, right, right. Facts. You rub the officer the wrong way. You going to jail. Guess what, man? It's just your day. You already in jail. You ain't even know it. You see, right, no, right. Like, you know, you can't even sit in your car. Now you're you in jail, man. Right, right. That's, that's like the joke on the cop. You in jail. <laughs> well, on the passenger and, 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 and then you start reading situations like what's going on in Louisiana, what's going on in Mississippi where there's overcrowding and stuff like that. And now, like, the people are complaining so much about the overcrowding because of inhumane conditions that what happened. Right. Because if, if, if states if states that are providing the incarceration, you know, saying the incarceration and all that shit, if they're overcrowded and doing all that shit, it's inhumane conditions. What they do is, you gotta, you, you, you gotta highlight the geo group. The geo group is 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 what one of the ones that that I like investing in. They they over here in uh, in Boca, right off of um, Yamato. You give a mad info, okay? I mean, I mean, <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? You go, you gonna hit a lick on a private person? Right, I know, but I'm just saying, like, at? right? <laughs> you gonna be? You gonna be you gonna be the mask on? You gonna be the fucking mask off? No, nah, you gonna be the next inmate, bitch. Right. You know, no. What I'm saying, no, no, you know what I'm saying? Because what I'm saying is, boom, that, that's how it start off. Because it's fucked up as it seems. Because, like, I, I talked I talk to what's the name with it? Caesar Leo about it. Right. And he was like, no, I can't invest in that because it's fucked up. Because, like, damn, like, it's really hurting people. That's personal interest. Like, that's personal interest. And I was just like, yo, bro, at the end of the day, people going to fuck up regardless. Regardless. Now. And that's the thing. 
do you, you know what I'm saying? People go fuck up and you don't get paid money, right. or you gonna pay money and people get fucked up. Exactly. People always go fuck. At the end of the day, it's always gonna be a motherfucker drinking and driving. Gonna be a nigga trapping. Gonna be a nigga doing whatever. Wait, whatever. wait, wait, wait. Somebody gotta go to jail. Exactly. No, it's, a, it's a whole economy. Right, right. So why wouldn't I want to be? Especially if you see that the state can't handle it, they got it. Exactly. And that's why. So I, who do they ship it, ship it off to? The private people. Right. But that's why I'm I'm offering this information to my, my peers, the people that check this out, to actually step back from like, oh, your savings and loans that you think this bank is looking out for you, giving you 0.01% on your savings. And I would say right now, I would say, take that same money you think you're saving, yeah. because you are saving it, but you're saving it for the bad rainy day that may not come. Take that same money and put it in stocks, bro. A nigga done hit. There was no better feeling than making a certain amount of money in one day. And I, 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 I'm See, just being but, honest about it. I'm no, but, but it's a little misleading, though, in, in terms of what you're saying. No, because... it's gambling. Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop right here then. It's it's legit gambling. It is gambling because you do not know the outcomes of certain things, but it's like picking horses. You bet on the winners. If you know this motherfucker been winning all year, let's say like a Tesla, Tesla is going to be a winner next week too. Maybe not in the same percentile or maybe not in the same percentage, but you know what I'm saying? There, there's, there's growth inevitably, and that's what you want to focus on and look forward to. And that's all I wanted to say about stocks. Like, a nigga done came up. A nigga been talking about stocks a long time, but it's time to put... I, it's, a t- it's about time I put no, my money where my mouth but, was. But, but however, however, it, it's not for anybody, though. Oh, it's not. It's it, not for anybody. If you're a degenerate gambler, it, it, stocks is not for you, bro. <laughs> it, it serves, no, actually, if you're a degenerate gambler, it's perfect for you. You're going to feel right at home. Right, right, right. You're going to feel like you're at Caesar's Palace. <laughs> but the thing is, though, um, for, for the average person that just got the savings account and got some of that, your best bet is on oh, some real shit. You just gotta go with a with a high yield savings account, one that doesn't have a minimum required deposit. Because right. the majority of them, you gotta put ten bands in just to go in without getting the fee. Right, but that's what I'm trying to say but, with this but, stock shit. I just hit for with the high yield. No, but what I'm saying is though, for the people that don't want to like risk losing the bread, you're always gonna lose. Exactly, yeah. but the high yield. Remember, yeah, if, but imagine if, if they if they promise you two percent. Return on your shit, dog. That's two percent return on your shit compared to a regular Guaranteed, bank. Right. Compared to a regular bank that's giving you point two percent, right? Point one percent. But this is where I'm trying to advise people: is that that point, that point two percent or that two percent that you're banking on? I would say right now. And listen, I've been talking a lot of shit about stocks for a long time, and I finally put my money where my mouth is, and I'm seeing the yeah, I'll take one. I'm finally seeing the uh, the. The, the effect and I'm not saying I'm winning all the time I was down I was down a couple hundred but then the stock shot up like we were just talking about with Sprint the stock shot up like I forgot it was like 53% in a day even Jada called me Jada was like yo nigga we just talked about buying Sprint we literally just bought Sprint two days ago nigga this shit up eight dollars eight dollars in translation terms from what it was was 53% this nigga is like, yo, this shit about to hit the fucking ceiling fan. I'm like, nigga, that's why I put my money where my mouth is that them two days ago. And, you know, it was it was it was worth the 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 bonus. I, let me just say that. I ain't gonna tell you, you how much I made, but I made a nice little bonus. I made I made my rent. Let me put it like that. Okay. I made my rent in 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 a day. Which I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen every time, but I would say read your local newspaper, read your 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 news, your Bloomberg, your your the New York Post. You know what I'm saying? Research these public these publicly traded companies because it is in your benefit. And I would say to go that route as far as stocks and shit because you never know. You might come up. You might come up. You know what I'm saying? Like especially like like you know what I'm saying? Trade you being now. And if you had any questions about it, man, I'm gonna give you the heads up and tell you really where to go. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Appreciate that. And you know what I'm saying? As we should for all our peoples, you know what I'm saying? It don't it don't hurt for a little information, dog. It does not yeah. hurt. Bro, right now we are in the biggest transfer of wealth that this the Back. history of people, people, this entire planet, dog, has ever seen. And so don't ever hate on another you know nigga like trying to like, come up. Well, There's um, enough money to go around. I, I don't know if I was telling you when we was over there watching the fight. I know I didn't tell Trey. It, it might have been C that I was telling. But dog. 
there, there was one piece of land that I had my eye on. Mm. It, it was out west. It was one piece of land. For a while. I, 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 no, and I was going to buy it. It was, it was only 2500 I was going to buy it. I said, man, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to buy it. Shit just kept coming up. Didn't buy it. Right. I, I just got hit up by my room. So they told me, I said, man, that land you were looking at, right now, it just got bought for seven. <sighs> when I was eyeing it, it was twenty five. Right. So you talk about $4,500 profit of a piece of land that I, w- I never planned to ever live there anyway. You understand what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Like right. that, like that. There was another piece of land that was for for thirty uh, for three thirty seven, I believe. I forgot what it was that I was looking at. That bitch just sold for ten. It it, no, I'm talking about in the middle of nowhere, bro. Right, right, right. But it happened. And and that's what and that's what I wanna just share with my peoples. You know what I'm saying? The, the, and, the thing and even is, with y'all, like. See, but but the thing is. Because when it comes to scared. big, it's it's it's, and, it's, it's no, the, you the threat. The words, you it's the threat. The, not even the threat. It's the it's the fear of it not working out. Right. Because it's a big fear. It, it's not like you're going and just buying hundred dollar shoes. Like you're buying something and it's you're inv- and, and you're shoes. investing. You know what I'm saying? No, no. But the thing is, you don't know if it is. Right. Because remember, at the end of the day, all this shit is oh, made I up. Was money, all, all this, all this shit is made up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's no fake matter, money. No, it's not real money. No, no matter what, nigga, all this shit is made up. The only reason, nigga, the only reason why that shit, that bottle costs what it costs, is because niggas are paying what, what, what they're telling you it costs. Right, right, right. The only reason why this phone is being paid for what it paid, it ain't because it got X amount of gigabytes of memory. Right, right. It's because this is what's been proven that people are gonna pay for it. People are gonna buy it, and that's why it is what it is. Though. We aren't far removed from the from the old barter system that we used back in the at day, all, whatsoever. All. Now the situation that occurs is now you're talking about something that holds value to different people, and it holds mm. different value to different people because you know what I'm saying. To me, I don't ever want to live on the west side of South Florida for what? Okay. On the west side for what? They said no. The only thing that happened out there was. What was seven of Indian Wars and Thomas Edison moved out there <laughs> in the 1800s? You know what I'm saying? And Thomas Edison moved out there. That's it. And and, 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 you know what I'm <laughs> like the beach, the, the beach looks beautiful, but guess what? That sand don't even look real. Right, right. I don't, not, I don't even not. trust them. It's they not. claim they imported that sand from the Bahamas. They did. Guess what? We've been there, and the sand in the Bahamas way better. Y'all lying. <laughs> Somebody lying. Somebody lying. You understand know what I'm saying? But guess what? You a motherfucker from Michigan. You a motherfucker from from Delaware. Right. Think about Delaware. Nobody nobody thinks about Delaware. Delaware is the first state. That's how overlooked it is. Like, nigga, who the fuck is from Delaware? Who, whoever said, hey, I want to go to Delaware? Right, right, right. No, no. You ever want to go to Delaware? No. I you have, ever want to go to Delaware? I have no interest no. in Delaware. I haven't thought about Delaware until this conversation right now. <laughs> That's how much it's overlooked. No, but, it. no, but think about it from a motherfucker like that. They don't right. know that Southwest Florida, to, the, to us who live in the real South Florida, right. is whack. Right, they're like, oh, it's prime real estate. Yeah, in South Florida, it's hot. Right, <laughs> it's hot. And, Nigga, it's, you, and you know, it's never you cold. You just came from Delaware. Right. You came from the most overlooked state. And like, I don't even, I don't even know what your taxes are like. <laughs> and that's how overlooked Delaware. Is. I don't right, know if the right, taxes right. are high. I feel like a lot of people coming from an, another state feel like Florida is basically my. Thank you. He got it. He got Honestly, it. He got it. No, I'll pick it up. Sorry. Honestly, I feel <laughs> like <laughs> this is the magic love hour. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like um, anybody coming from a different state feels like Florida is um, two of three things. They might feel like it's just straight drugs, or Miami is basically the whole Florida, or Disney World is the biggest, most exciting thing in the world. Because um, like even when I was living in Ohio. A lot of people, I would tell them, yeah, yeah, a lot of people, I would tell them, oh, I'm from, um, I'm from South Florida. I'm from, I would say I'm from the 954. Right. You know, and they'd be like, 954, 954, what is that? First off. (laughs) And then. (laughs) True story. No, but before you continue, not to get you up, but before you continue, because you talked about Disney World. Disney World was originally planned to be built out here in Weston. Over here, so if you look, if you look, if you go to Western to Town Center, Aquatic Park, yeah, no, 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 no. If you go to Western Town Center, it, that, that, that there used to be nothing. It was straight Everglades. They wanted it to be there, and Miami Dade was the one that voted and said, "Fuck no, we don't want it here." Because if it's here, what that means is all the traffic is going to be in 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 North Dade County, right. which back in those days when they wanted to build it, North Dade County was where you moved to because you wanted to get away from downtown Miami. Right. So boom, they were like, "Hell no, you're going to be right next to the suburbs." That's before Miami Gardens right, existed. Before Broward, yeah. you know, that, that's when it was Karen sitting on the shit like blah blah blah. So, so if you look at 
the pavers that are in Weston Town Center. It says, uh, I don't know if it says built or produced, but it says built by Arvidia. If you look at it, those are the exact same pavers you see when you're in uh, Disney World. The exact oh, same shit. company built it. That's what's up. Everybody voted. Broward County and Dade County said, fuck no, you ain't been that bitch in Weston. And then that's when that's when Walt Disney ended up getting an amazing deal. Right. And he ended, up hiring, land. Yeah. He, yeah, he ended up hiring uh, private uh, plane flyers, you know, single engine plane flyers, and going out there and... And, and cashing out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm so serious. No, you're good. You good. Um, yeah, but I, like just being, um, like personal experience um, being in Ohio, a lot of people will be fascinated by the fact that I'm from Florida. And like they would always be like, oh, well, you know... You must go to the beach all the time. And I was like, <laughs> Nah, I don't right. go it's, to the beach mad, all the time. It's, it's mad not that convenient. serious. <laughs> or like they'll see what is like, like CSI Miami, or they'll see what's on TV. Sorry, they'll see what's on TV, and they'll just assume that you know it's this lifestyle of everybody in bikinis and <laughs> flash, you know, and glam. And, yeah, you know. So um, I think everybody from out of the state of Florida might have this, this, um, this perception of how florida is when you know i'm not saying that it doesn't have those things but it's not fully 100 percent like that oh at all at all so, at so all. i got a question for you because uh you know i've been talking uh with sam about this shit for a while and i think it's an amazing idea to bring down you know what i'm saying uh retail prices of that which is something of course the government's never gonna do but i think this will definitely alleviate uh the population explosion that we're having uh florida right now is number two in uh, the state where most people are moving to, number right. one, of course, is Texas. Because right. Texas, you're getting mad land for the low. Right. Now, my idea is, you tell me what you think. We got a sunburn tax. <laughs> sunburn tax. The more you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sound like funny. Spongebob. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you, sound like, you sound like the Spongebob. He's been, been baking on this tax for, for a while now. <laughs> but the, hey, to me, I think it's perfect. <laughs> because I'm just the right amount of mulatto, according to that racist Georgia girl, that I don't really got to worry about sunburn. Right, right, right. But you know, the more you get sunburned, the higher you got to pay in taxes. Yo, you want to live down here? Well, listen here, lady. Sunburn tax. Listen, you, you got to pay more money because your health is being fucked up. <laughs> Clearly, you have skin cancer, lady. Go back to fucking Wyoming. <laughs> true, and true. And leave South Florida. I mean, you got a point. You got a point there. You got a point there. But that we're going to save that for another episode. Oh, man. We got to call it. Now, everybody, thank you for joining us here on another episode of the Inebriated Podcast. Please go check out our Patreon app where you can go and watch us exclusively on Patreon.com slash Inebriated Podcast. And you can subscribe to us. And receive one of our inebriated teas, which are available at storefrontier.com slash inebriated podcast. And check out the Instagram for the exclusive inebriated podcast hats I'm available sorry, right now in, in multiple colorways. You got Trey right now rocking the purple colorway right now. The Mount Union Purple Raiders hat on. <laughs> Shout out to the Purple Raiders. What, what was it? What was it? The highest. Uh, the highest score differential in NCAA yeah, history. Against um, Avery. Um, yeah, it was pretty uh, You already know. <laughs> hey, hey, we ain't talking bullshit when we talking about sports. You know what I'm saying? Of so, course, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Trey was not on that team. <laughs> That's why they got that, that record. Because he was. <laughs> so, go, so go check us out on Instagram.com slash inebriated podcast for all the hats and all the information that you can get on about the merch. Go check us out on all social media platforms. We are available on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, Pandora Music, Amazon Music, uh, YouTube, Facebook, IGTV, anywhere you find podcasts, anywhere you are on social media. We are on even TikTok right now. We're, we're working oh, on a shit. TikTok page right now. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's going to take time, but I'm working on it. We're going to get to you. Sammy got dance moves. Yeah, yeah, but I got plans. I got plans. We're going to be having a new show debut, hopefully, in the, in the near future. Check it out. You're going to be able to check it out. It's called Miami Bites, where we're going to be reviewing and testing out a lot of foods that come originally out of, out of South Florida. So stay tuned for that. This has been another episode of the Need Raider Podcast. Thank you for listening. Yep.